This is Axel Sones doing association with Square Circle Boxing. Pleasure to be joined by Eddie Hearn today. Eddie, weigh in day, how are we feeling? Feeling good. Great show um, tomorrow night. Five really good competitive 50 50 fights. And of course, Dalton Smith stepping up massively in a really tough fight at world level. You know, and a uh, very exciting night ahead. I will ask more about this car in just a moment. But if I am to ask you one crazy, I suppose, weigh in story that you have throughout your time, what would you give me? Ooh. Weigh-in story. I don't know. I think it's really just about fighters missing weight. I mean, even today, you know, you got Troy Williamson coming in four pound over. It's like, how do you come in four pound? But you you see this a lot. Maurizio Lara when he did it against Lee Wood, you know. And I think that all I can say is, is the funny stories are that every fighter lies about their weight. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, oh, he's overweight. How much is he over? Uh, about a pound, a pound and a half, and then you weigh him and he's three pound over. It's like, what's happened there? Oh, I can't believe it. We just weighed him a half an hour ago and he was a pound and a half over. What? And he's just put on, a, has he had any drink? No, he's just put on another pound and a half, you know? So, yeah, making weight is, is never easy. And, um, you know, it's quite interesting the dynamics, I think, for people to understand. When a fighter comes in like that, four pound over, the fight could be off. In fact, I think the, you know, it's probably more likely off than on at the moment. But then you have to go through the process of making sure the fighter is safe in that fight, looking at the financials of a new deal, looking at the opportunity, looking at reweighing tomorrow to make sure there's no discrepancy before the fight. Like it's quite a complex process. And, and that, that, that negotiation is quite intense because once you make that decision, like if Ishmael Davis pulls out of that fight, that's him done for eight, 10, 12 weeks, he's just trained for 12 weeks, spent all that money in camp, but you don't want to just, oh, just take the fight under any circumstances. So that's when the team comes in to make the right decisions. Of course, and of course, the main event, Dalton Smith headlining again in Sheffield. And for a fight like this, it's a huge fight, but I suppose if he is to win this one, go on to maybe a world title challenge, would you say there's a possible time where you might outgrow Sheffield as a fighter? No, I mean, it's a great venue. I mean, look, tomorrow we're going to have around 5,000, right, which is a nice size. We, we had that number very often with Kel Brook coming through. It's a respectable number. You've still got another four or five you can get in there once you open up the upper tier. So there's a long way to go. The dream is for him to fight at Hillsborough. Very difficult to fight outside. But even when Kel was doing five or 6,000 in Sheffield, we ended up selling out Bramall Lane. You know, there is something about an outdoor event within the city that makes people come out. So... This is the fight that takes Dalton Smith to the, the big league of world level fights that start seeing him put seven, eight thousand in Sheffield. So, um, yeah, long way to go yet, but but must come through tomorrow. And I suppose there has been difficulties in the past with stadium fights sometimes being made with Lee Wood. It seems like that's a little bit the case at the moment. Can sometimes stadium fights be a little bit frustrating? Yeah, they're an, they're an aggravation to put on in all honesty like but there's nothing like them like you know we've had some of our greatest nights outside Goodison Park with Tony Bellew you know even like the rumble on the humble humber Luke Campbell against Tommy Coyle at, 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 at Hull KR it was an unbelievable night 15,000 in Hull Bramall Lane here for Kel against Errol Spence unbelievable of course Wembley you know Tottenham Hotspur what a stadium like we've done loads so it's, it's a great night but it, the problem is to put it into perspective, to give you an idea, to stage an event outside will cost you somewhere in the region of 600,000 to a million pounds more than doing it in an arena. So therefore, you need to make the excess on the ticket sales. And when you go outside, ticket, tickets are cheaper because the, the sight lines aren't as good. So there's a lot of 30 pound or 40 pound tickets. So if you're only going to sell 15,000, there is no value to going outside. You need to be selling 25,000 plus to make the economics work. But from a spectacle, it's great. But, you know, it is, it is difficult to do. Indeed. I'm going to rattle another fight to you now. And Sandy Ryan facing Terry Harper, an amazing fight. And I suppose, first of all, can I get your opinions on how good of a fight that is? It's a pure 50-50, really. I mean, Sandy's probably the slight favourite because I think she's got a bit of momentum. I thought she was very unlucky in the McCaskill fight. But Terry Harper, you know, she talks yesterday about her mental resilience now and she seems in a really good place and she's an excellent fighter. It's a chance for her to become a three-time world champion. Um, 
So I think it's a, a brilliant fight and a pure 50 50. One final question from me. Price McCaskill is another great fight in that weight class. Is that the winner of that? Would you like to face the winner of that one? Would be willing to, yeah. I'm not sure they would be. But, you know, um, Natasha Jonas is another fight in the division. It's a big fight. Could be a rematch with Terry Harper or Sandy Ryan against Natasha Jonas. Brilliant fight. So we'll have to see. I know that Terry Harper and Sandy Ryan will fight anybody. So we'll see who wins tomorrow night. Eddie, thank you very much. Cheers.